couldn't stand it. I uh, had to take the deck off. It was kind of a pain. I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty hard. It is only four connections though, but uh, it was kind of tough. I haven't worked on one of these John Deere's in a while. I guess it gives us an opportunity to check out and see if the deck is in good shape. Oh no. There's a rod here I need to remove first. Now that I got the deck off, I can pivot this tractor to its side so I can see underneath it. Stay. Now we can check out the bottom, the underbelly. Uh, just for you guys, if you wanted to know, uh, these two hooks rest on one of those hangers there right there's holes here that go into two pins that are on the frame front front things right here and um there's a rod this uh brake rod this thing here goes into uh here i think that looks about right Anyway, as you can see, other than it being dirty, um, it's pretty, pretty clean and good shape. You know what I mean? No rust, hardly any surface rust, but it's a good deck. So uh, here we go. I had a feeling that it wasn't, it wasn't moving, and I have a feeling it has to do with the belts being too um, short or um, too long and it wasn't uh... see look now now oh it's okay so it stopped also I don't know I'm gonna have to try and look this over slowly I guess this gives me an opportunity to uh, grease the sector so that the steering is a little better I didn't want to take this apart, but you saw I had to do it. Okay, look, so I uh, took the belt off of the drive pulley, right? So that I could move it with my hands. It appears that this thing is stuck. This pulley doesn't seem to be moving at all. And that's what's binding it and not allowing it to uh, move, see? I think the bearing is broken on this thing. I might have to remove that. I hope I remember how this goes. This goes on the outside, or it goes on the inside. I'll figure it out. Look at that. You could actually uh, adjust it tight or loose, see? That's cool. Yeah. So, uh, looks like the uh, bearing is seized. That's what it looks like. I put penetrating oil in the bearing. And I used some channel locks and I unseized it, sprayed some more. Now it's like butter. This was bound up really well. 
There was a lot of crap down there too. So I think this has something to do with it. <laughs> I hope this is it. Because if the tranny's busted, that's gonna suck. Okay. Loosen that idler pulley. This is an idler pulley. This is a tensioner pulley because this arm moves, okay? This thing moves to tighten the belt or loosen the belt. Uh, this is now free. It was bound up before. Because this is like a um, pin, a pin turn, you know what I mean? The uh, gripping is very, the, the gripping torque is very strong here because it's a complete hairpin. Following what I'm saying? Uh, if it was just like going like this, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But if this is bound up, it's going to create a lot of drag. So I think that was the problem. So now the um, belt is nice and um, tight. Tension is high. Uh, this is on brake lever released. When you, uh, when you engage the brake, it loosens it. So I think this is good. Uh, let's put this back on its uh, normal position and we'll give it a good now I didn't do anything to it but for turning it's just fine it's a warm-up lap stokage
again did I decide to start doing tractors again? You know that feeling when you're just on the edge of passing out? I'm at that edge right now where I'm about to pass out, you know? Should I just crawl into bed and roll around in this? Listen, so I, uh, I have this bolt here, see? I don't remember where it went. Anyway, deck sucked. While it's only five connections, it still sucks. Wasn't easy, man. All right. Let's see if this starts, drives, moves, mows. I don't have to do that. <laughs> I don't have any safety switches. This thing starts easily, it's fast, good takeoff power as you saw, brakes work, steering is now much better, engine runs great, it mows and it drives and it goes reverse and the deck goes up and down, yeah. Hey, let's put the hood on. I know what you all thinking. Hey Henry. Is that hood going to go on with that muffler on the side now? <laughs> Only one way to find out. I thought about that too. What if it doesn't go on with the muffler on? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh huh. Oh. Well. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh huh. Yep. That's interesting, all right. Looks like. I gotta cut a big hole right here. <laughs> I gotta put a hole right there. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's not good, but it's not bad. Yep. Well, anyway, how about it? Here at Mowers and Blowers, we push them into the garage, but they come out driving. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel.
Bye.